why is this design better than another design? And, and the reason why I think this design is better is because I think it truly reproduces the normal kinematics of a knee with having the stability of the medial pivot design. So that's kind of the reason why I've transitioned my knees to this implant. The mid flexion instability, people going up and down stairs, that's a problem, people don't like it. And so this allows them to have more stability with less pain and less need for revision surgery. I think as far as the kinematics of the knee design, probably come closest to what we're trying to accomplish and try to, what we're trying to mimic in a, in a, in a natural knee. Um, you know, I think we're kidding ourselves if we think we can do an artificial knee that, that completely mimics a natural knee, but I think that, that this one probably comes the closest and, and has the natural medial pivot in the, in, on the medial compartment and then sort of the, the back and forth arcuate movement on the lateral side of the knee. For me, that's number one most important reason why I like to use this knee. Um, I think that translates into patient satisfaction and, and, and functional ability of the patient. And uh, so I think that's extremely important. What excites me most about using medial pivot is exactly what it is. It's medial pivot. That kinematically, it's the absolute perfect design to use. It's got the high congruity on the medial side, but the freedom on the lateral side. That's what a natural knee normally does. In addition, it has 20 years worth of longevity that's proven the test of time that it works. The combination together is the perfect solution to the problem of knee, of knee replacements today. And now that I've used it myself in clearly over a thousand knees, I can't be happier with what it does. Typical post and cam design attempted to um, mimic uh, PCL, but I think it, it had a lot of uh, deficiencies, which has been borne out in a lot of fluoroscopic studies. The medial pivot is, um, is much more normal in terms of um, replicating uh, knee kinematics. When you see a normal healthy knee, <clears throat> it's it doesn't move a lot on the medial side and has a lot of rollback on the lateral side, and that's uh, basically what the evolution uh, is able to accomplish.